What's going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. Southern California, where I live and live in San Diego, is having crazy weather right now. It's raining really bad. It's really windy. It sounds like seems like the palm trees are gonna fall over. It's pretty crazy, especially for Southern California. Southern California normally has like these totally calm, sunny, no breeze, really nothing. Just like it's just sunny. That's it. And it's totally rainy. I don't know if you can hear it. You probably can't hear it, but it's frigging crazy out right now. So let's get to the news before I lose electricity. All about Samsung today, guys. There's really not a ton of tech news today, so it's mostly about the Galaxy S8 and the Note 7. So let's start off with the Note 7. It looks like the Wall Street Journal has uh, eked out some information from some people inside of Samsung. Now, Samsung announced today that on January 23rd, they will officially give us the news. Well, like I said earlier, Wall Street Journal said they have irked, e eked out some news uh, from people internally and they're saying that uh, the Samsung is going to say about the Galaxy Note 7 fires and explosion that it was a manufacturing flaw and also and irregularly sized batteries. Now, this is kind of going in line with what we've been hearing about for the last month or two from this is that it was a design issue, the batteries, so th none of this stuff really is that surprising. But Wall Street Journal, a totally reputable uh, source, I don't think they're gonna put anything out there that isn't probably gonna come out to be true. So it looks like irregular battery sizes and also manufacturing of those batteries is what ended up causing these fires and explosions for the Galaxy Note 7. Now, it would have been, I guess, fixable if uh, Samsung was able to uh, put a replaceable battery in there, I would assume that would, would have fixed this whole issue or if they used, if they just redesigned the whole battery from the onset, which kind of would have been difficult to do, especially in such a short time frame. That's probably why they ultimately canceled the Galaxy Note 7. And lastly, another case manufacturer released some renders of the new Galaxy S8 and there's four buttons on there and the four buttons are would be a power button two volume controls, and I believe those are on the left this time instead of on the right. I can't remember if they have on the left or the right because I've had so many damn phones, but I believe those are usually on the right, but it looks like they're gonna be on the left, I guess, this time. And then on the right is the other button, which should be the new Bixby button. Now, we talked about this maybe a month and a half ago at this point, or a month ago, about Bixby having its own dedicated button. Remember, Bixby is gonna be Samsung's personal digital assistant that you'll be able to use. We talked about a story the other day where you can load up Bixby, take a picture of something, and it'll tell you what it is, where you can get it, and some other information on it. So Bixby, its own dedicated button, looks like that's definitely gonna come true with this Galaxy S8. Do I like that? I think it's kind of a good idea. I don't mind having another button just for a personal assistant. In a way, I wouldn't mind it if Google had that same thing. Obviously, Google's works by you holding the home button for a second and then it just pops up. Kind of, I think that's the way Siri works as well. Maybe it's a double tap. No, it's a single long press on Siri. So it's very similar, but having that dedicated button is a great idea, I feel. I would definitely take use of this when I get my Galaxy S8. I'll press that and hold that little button and have a dedicated personal assistant at my fingertips. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I do this every single day. My question of the day is, what do you think about that little button? Button. Do you like it or not? I told you what I think. Let me know what you think in the comments down below about that personal assistant Bixby button. And my product of the day is Madden 17. If you like football, there's no better reason to buy Madden than right now. It's $20 on Amazon, PS4, and Xbox One. Check it out, guys. If you love football, you're going to love that game. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you tomorrow, like I do every day, and down the road. Peace.